Hey what's going on everybody, it's Ghost here and welcome back to a tutorial, I haven't done one of these in a while, uh, a Photoshop tutorial, so I said I'd do one and today we're going to be looking at the uh, uh, the banner that I did for my YouTube channel, so we're going to be making this, if any of you guys have a YouTube channel and want to make something similar to this, you can go ahead and do so because I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on that, so um, where to start? Basically, I'm going to show you how to make this so you can put it on your own channel. You can have your own logo either side. You can vary it any way you want. I don't really mind. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine um, at all. So, um, yeah, let's get to it. I forgot. I thought I was going to say something else to you guys, but I can't really remember. There's a Firewatch background as well, um, you know, the game Firewatch. So, let's get into it. And I need to try and remember how I made this as well as I go along. So, I'm probably going to have to keep it keep popping up this image but anyway you want to go to file oh by the way I'm using Photoshop CS6 you can use any Photoshop version for this I'm pretty sure because I don't use any uh, 3d effects or anything so you want to go file new and you go width. Um, the width of this is 2 whoops 2560 um, by 1440 1440 uh, resolution you can pop down to 72 uh, the reason why the resolution was at 500 and the width and height were at 5,000 each is because I was making myself a t-shirt, um, a ghostly dragon t-shirt that I'm going to be picking up pretty soon. Uh, so that's that's right right there. Um, you want to change the background color to white. It doesn't really matter though. And then you're good to go. Just click OK. Uh, so you should get an image like this. Uh, what first thing I would do is just unlock the background. You can just backspace it and call it BG. Click OK. There we go. Now what you want to do is you want to go onto Google Images and type in um, banner template, and you should get something like this. I'm going to show you now. Um, Photoshop Image Essentials channel art template you should get something like this on Google Images and if you put this in here everything could be to the correct dimensions as you can see up here 2560 by 140 right click click place and there you go so this is basically a template of what your banner would look like on all the different platforms so desktop minimum and mobile tablet desktop max the TV uh, see what I mean so next what you want to do is you want to grab your rectangular tool down on the bottom left here and you want to just um, switch the colors to black so the blacks the main color here and you want to get a rectangle going here and just do something like this so it cuts off this so you can only see this middle area here um, which is going to be the banner so you just cut this off as well and there we go so we got something like this it does not matter how big the rectangles are it really doesn't uh, then you want to just um, go to file once you have that done, that's it. That's all you need to do for this part. Then what you want to do is go File, Place, and you want to find that Firewatch background. Again, just look up on Google Image Essentials, Firewatch background. This is like in the first page results, so you know, you'll be able to find it pretty easily. You want to click that, and you'll get something like this up on the screen. You want to right click, click Place. As you can see, it's above it's like in front of the two black rectangles we made so we go over here to the right grab this and pull them pull it down below these two and as you can see we got something nice going on here uh, so what I want to do I actually want to move this image so it looks a bit nicer so control T uh, command T if you're on a Mac then I'm just gonna stretch the image a bit and make it a bit taller you can use this to your own personal preference but I think this is what uh, I would like so I'm gonna actually do something like this probably something like that so the guy is to the left a tiny bit and he's not actually in the center then you want to right click and place and then it will high up the resolution and everything like that so that's all good to go so what did I do next um, let's let's buy add, let's add in the text so you want to go here hit the text tool click here when the text tool loads in uh, click here then you want to put up the the uh, text size to 72 I, I say I don't know and then we're gonna type in the ghost whoops the ghostly dragon okay perfect uh, then you want to type that in there and then you can pump, uh, pump up the font a bit if you want the the size of the font if you want so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pump it up to about 82 oops I was meant to highlight it and um, pump it up to 82 there we go uh, like that so that's perfect um, then what you want to do is center it so to center it is you right click see where it says the ghostly dragon here your text layer you want to control click the your text layer like this so it highlights it blue and control click the background and once you have both of them selected come over here click the move tool hit this button here 
that will do it horizontally, but I don't want that. I actually hit that by accident. Hit the vertical one, or not the vertical one, this is the horizontal one, and then it will center it into place like that. So all I need to do is just drag it up to where I want it. There we go, there's our text done. Now to add effects. Uh, you want to double click on the ghostly dragon layer or right click and go to blend in options and you'll be brought to this page here. What you want to do, I'm pretty sure I just have a stroke. Yeah, so what you want to do is you want to hit stroke and then pump up the stroke a bit or probably to a six, no six too big, four, well, we'll do five. So five is the stroke and everything else is good. We'll probably add in a bit of a drop shadow. Size, I'll probably go 13 spread distance 13 so 13 for 13 and the angle of this will be 90 degrees and everything's good I'll pump up the opacity to 85 86 percent click OK there's our text done now what you want to do is you need to go to Google images again and look for the YouTube logo and the Twitter logo um, just look up on Google images YouTube icon and then Twitter logo um, shouldn't be that hard to find so then you want to shrink this down you want to bring the YouTube logo in just uh, hit file and place and bring them in and then just drag it along until you think that's perfect enough um, we'll just do there I'm just making a, a quick little one it's not going to be as detailed as the my banner that I have now uh, uh, like this one here so I do have a stroke around this as you can see like a black stroke um, so what we're going to do, I'm actually going to make this smaller. If you right clicked and placed it like this and you're not happy with it and you want to make it smaller, just hit Control T, it will bring back up the edit and hold Shift while you're dragging it down so it keeps it in proportion like what I'm doing there now and then right click, hit place and there you go. So we're going to do something like that. Then you want to, what you want to do is I'm actually going to go to my ghostly dragon text layer, right click, go down to copy layer style then go to YouTube icon and paste layer style because I'm going to be adding a stroke and a drop shadow to this anyway. Um, so, but I want to want uh, what I want to do is bring down the stroke to about a three or four, probably a three. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. A three, three or four. Then we want to get in. That's a YouTube logo done. Now we need to get in our Twitter logo. So we'll just drag that in like this. Again, you can find all of these images off Google Images, obviously. Uh, so you want to drag the Twitter logo down. We'll just put it next to the to the YouTube logo. I'm actually just going to drag the YouTube logo over a bit to the center. Perfect. We'll just drag it over there. Now the Twitter logo blue. I can't really remember what I did. I went to gradient overlay. I selected the gradient to a blue uh, a blue and white gradient so if you just click here go here go to turquoise like kind of a, a light blue uh, then hit OK and we got something like this you want to hit the blend mode and go to overlay and then you go to drop shadow and then you go to stroke just hit drop shadow you can leave the settings as it is 505 90 degrees and 70% will actually pump up the opacity to 86 go to stroke and we'll pump up the stroke to about a 4 and there we go and then add a bevel and emboss and we got this nice 3D uh, Twitter logo which I think looks really really cool okay so then one more thing you probably just heard my phone one more thing that you want to do is go to text go here click here then you want to type in um, some more information about your channel for example tutorials and more um, gameplay and more or something like that but uh, in this case for my channel I type in let's play channel like this um, but I'm gonna reduce the size you can reduce it to any um, size you want I'm probably gonna go to a 60 and um, that looks about good oops I messed up the play and play they're perfect and then I'll add an exclamation mark like that now I really have a problem with adding text at the end of the thing there we go um, okay so now what I want to do is I want to right click on the let's play channel and I want to go to paste layer style again as you can see we get this nice um, look here and then I just want to drop it down a bit probably to there if you want to be more precise use the arrow keys as you can see it drops by like one pixel uh, per hitting the arrow key um, so I'm happy with about there um, so that looks pretty good now for the logo you can guys you can use your own logo or if you don't have a logo you can leave it at this if you want and besides you don't have to even use the firewatch background you can use something else if you want uh, any other favorite game of yours if you want so um we need to go and get our dragon this is my dragon logo get this in here and I want to position the dragon about here like this and then when you're happy with that I'm actually going to shrink it down 
you can do this to your own logo when you shrink it down hit place then I want to put the dragon as you can see on the right hand corner of the screen drag it below the the ghostly dragon text so the nose is actually underneath the N then you wanna um, let's see uh, double click on the dragon layer then go to bevel and emboss oh no I don't have a bevel and emboss on this uh, sorry what you wanna do is highlight the dragon layer go to the blend mode things and then you wanna go down to is a soft light yeah so as you can see it is very faded and the opacity is on 100% so what I did to um, make it darker all you have to do is hit control J which will duplicate the layer and as you can see it will turn out like this which I think is really nice um, so what you wanna do then is you wanna get the dragon and bring it over here um, you wanna go to the first dragon layer bring it over here hit control T and then do this grab this part here go like this and literally just flip the image around until you're happy with it um, so I'm happy about there come over here and then just do this line it up there um, I'm happy about there I'll make the dragon a bit wider and I'm happy there now we hit control J on that that will darken that then go to the dragon here and then you want to hit control J again whoops that's the same layer uh, you want to go here to the dragon copy which doesn't have a number hit control J and there we go so that's going to be it for this tutorial guys that's all you have to do to make my banner if you're interested in how to uh, make a banner like this it's pretty simple if you guys have a logo um, you can add the YouTube Twitter icon again you can add a Twitter Instagram logo if you want anything you want you can add any text down here it's really up to you it's a customizable banner but I'm just going to show you I just showed you how I added the background and the black layer is here so everything is all good to go and as you can see oh I exit off off the the image but it doesn't matter we got it done but that's going to be it for this tutorial guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did please hit the like button down below let's see if we can hit a good five likes to ten likes on this video i'd really really appreciate that but with that being said i'll see you guys in the next one